Hey guys, this is Mike with Resistance Photography. Uh, recently, actually today, I just posted this image in a few different photography groups and I've had a lot of people ask me how I achieved this look. I tried to um, screenshot it and show everybody basically how I did it, but I think it would just be a whole lot easier doing a video tutorial. A lot of people have asked me to do that and I've actually never done one of these, so this is brand new to me and uh, I'm kind of excited about it. But um, this shot yeah you know I love this shot um, this is the first time I've been able to shoot with an old car like this and uh, it was really freaking sweet the whole session was awesome uh, with this shot so yeah I have um, I've actually only been a photographer for almost a year here in about two weeks it's been about a year for me so the feedback that I've been receiving lately has just been really inspiring and you guys have been awesome. You know, everybody who's loved my work and supported me and been there for me, you guys honestly don't know how much that means to me. It really encourages me and it, it gives me the, um, how would you say this, it gives me the, it gives me motivation to go further and to do better with uh, my photography. With, um, with that being said, I'll go ahead and explain the situation this day. This day I was uh, with a local photography group called Learn to Love Photography. Uh, admins are Josh Wallace and Ali Boba. And uh, they're actually really, really awesome people, both of them. The whole group in general actually, but uh, especially both, both of them, Josh and Ali, they've really taught me a lot and I wouldn't be half as far as I am if it wasn't for them. And uh, just being able to learn from them and them critiquing my work and everything has really inspired me to do a lot better. Uh, this day was actually a cloudy day. It was really foggy when we first showed up and the sun was uh, was coming out here and there. So being able to adjust my settings uh, for the most part was good. But every so often the sun would peek through and kind of throw everything off. So with this shot, being cloudy, I had a two light setup. I had uh, two newer flashes. Uh, one in front of the subject. I believe the softbox is a 24 by 36. I'm not too sure. Um, it was just recently given to me. So it's, it's really awesome. I love it. And then the softbox behind her, I'm um, sorry, the flash behind her was just bare bulb. And they were both at 100%. So we get some uh, really cool backlighting behind her, which worked out really awesome. And, uh, I don't know, it's just a really cool day. So enough about about the day and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Lightroom and we're gonna look at what my settings were. My settings were at 18 millimeters. I use the kit lens. I love the kit lens. It's basically my go-to lens. I know a lot of people really despise that lens, but with off-camera flash or just so much you can do at 18 millimeters. And I'm using a T3i, so I am using a crop sensor camera, so I'm not sure what the exact ratio would be on that, but I know it works pretty well for me. I love it. And then um, I shot a F10 and 1 200th of a second, and ISO 400. So I'm not sure why I did that. I could probably shoot at a lower f stop and you know, lower my ISO down a little bit, but for whatever reason I did that, you know, it actually turned out really well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit this image. Alright, that cut out on me, so I'm not too sure why. I said my microphone stopped working. So let's, uh, let's do some square one. What I like to do is I like to take this eyedropper tool and kind of click a neutral spot to get my white balance. And that I don't really like. So it again, see what happens. Nah, still not really digging it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to adjust it manually. I'm going to go ahead and put the white balance there. I know it's got some awkward colors right now. Let's see. We'll do about right there. Um, the colors, you'll understand why I did that in a second. And then I'll go ahead and, um, you know, a lot of times I'll mess with all this, but my main focus right now is adjusting the clarity. Now I know a lot of people are probably going to hate me for this, 
and a lot of people will disagree with this 100%, but I'm a clarity type of guy, so I'm going to go ahead and put that all the way up. Now, yeah, it looks a little wild, but you'll see in a second why I did that. Um, she looks really blown out. I know there's a lot of spots that just don't look right. So what I'm going to go ahead and go do, while I'm at it, I always do this, a little bit to my images, you know, a little bit of matte, not too much on this one because I don't want that look. And then I'll sharpen it just a little bit, do a little bit of noise reduction, do that with every image, kind of out of habit. Enable profile corrections, and since I'm using a Canon, I click that, and there we go, that looks a lot better. And then, as far as vignette goes, we'll go ahead and I'm erase that some. A lot of times I like a bit. I'll try not to do too much on this. Uh, you know, it might be a little too much. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that. Anyway, that's fine. And then what I'll go ahead and go do, since her face is blown out, I'll take the luminance. And then I'll go to the orange, because most of the skin tones usually are orange. And I'll lower that and bring some color back into her face. And then what I'll also do is I'll go to the hue and then bring orange down just a little bit. A little reddish, but I'm okay with that. Um, maybe we'll take this orange and pop it up just a little bit. Maybe to right there. Awesome. So basically, for me personally, I'm happy with this image so far. Uh, I wouldn't ask for anything other than that. When I first originally edited this, this is what I came up with. But there was something just still kind of off about it. So what I do is I go ahead and I decide to add a texture. I go to uh, a right click, edit in, edit in Photoshop. And then my computer's slow, so we're either going to wait or I'm going to edit this in post-production. We'll see. There we go, it's loading. All right, finally reading. Yeah, I don't really have the best computer right now like I said I'm fairly used I don't really edit too much in Photoshop most of my post-production goes into Lightroom but every so often I like to apply anything in Photoshop and you know try new snare so today that's when I actually tried it and I loved it a lot and I guess everybody else did too Almost there. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so here we have the image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a second layer. And I should already have this copied. I do. Awesome. So there's a texture I'm going to choose. I'm going to hit Control T. And since it's horizontal, I'm going to go ahead and flip it vertical at 90 degrees. There we go. Perfect. Make sure it covers my whole picture. And then I'm going to apply the image. And then after that's done. Oh, wow. It's taking a while. Now that that's been applied, I'm going to go ahead and uh, what I like to do normally is I'll click one of these and kind of just go through them and you know see what fits the look I'm going for. I know for this I just went ahead and did an overlay and you know I like that. That looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mask this layer and so I'm going to take it. 
and let's see. I'm gonna make sure my opacity is up 100%. Now I, I could take time doing this, but for the sake of uh, everyone watching, I'm not gonna worry about all that. I'm gonna do the whites on her shirt, and then what I'm actually gonna do now. Make sure you know everything looks good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my opacity and I'm probably going to take it uh, around 50%, 47 works. Too lazy to switch it. Actually, before I do that, let me go in and take it off for hands. Any skin tones that I do, I do not want any texture on because then that just is going to make everything look really weird. I'm going to go ahead and do all the fingers and for the sake of the video I'm not going to perfectly do it because you guys get the idea. Okay, so now that that's done I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this down uh, to about 50% and then I'm going to take it off her clothing and see how that looks. And so far so good kind of like a little bit of texture on the clothing they can kind of blends it a little better and then the texture as far as the background goes I don't really I'm not really I like it but it's kind of overkill so what I'm gonna do is I'll probably bring it down about 70 percent and then I know there's one part of this image that's bugging me I'm gonna go ahead and I just do a burn or um, I'm sorry, a dodge. And up here is a little dark for my taste, so I'm gonna lighten it up just a little bit, just a tad. There we go. And that's it, basically. Uh, it's that simple. I know. Uh, you know, it looks pretty cool, and it looks like a lot of stuff was done to it. But. Uh, not that hard to do you know if it's something i can do anybody can do it so if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know ask me and uh, i'll do the best i can to answer them any way that i can i'm sure there's plenty of other ways to edit this image and do it properly but for me this is really the only way i know how to do it and it works best for me and it gets the results that i want and then um yeah Feel free to ask me any questions. You can comment this video down below, or uh, if you look in the description, I'll have my Facebook on there, uh, my email, and all sorts of things. So check that out. Leave me a message. If there's any other tutorials you guys would like to see, feel free to let me know, and I'll be more than happy to. All right, you guys have a great day and stay blessed.